Hello and Happy New Year. It's me, Nick, and after a long winter's nap, What's New in 2 is back. And we're bringing with it a slew of product updates that are already released or releasing by end of month. Let's get to it. What's new in two? First up, Conditional Logic is here. That's right, there's a new way to automate your workflow. Starting today, Airtable users across every plan type can use conditional logic in their automations. And that means they can do things like send a few important notifications to everyone but Todd in accounting. Sorry, Todd. Or they can route their social media posts to Twitter, but not to Facebook. So how does it work? Well, conditional logic lets you trigger groups of automation actions only when certain conditions have been met, ensuring your automations are primed to do exactly what you want. Next, we're unlocking new ways to collaborate at scale. It's now easier than ever to work in bases with many other people. First, we've added the ability to at mention entire user groups, which lets you tag whole teams at once. And we'll have some more to announce next month for users sharing high traffic bases, but for now, we hope you enjoy all that new tagging. Next, we have new bulk field editing options. So in case you missed it, last November, we added ways to manage field permissions in bulk, and this month we're adding even more bulk editing options. Now you can select multiple fields to hide, filter, or group all at once for faster view editing. And finally, we're unveiling improved record editing, including a new look for expanded records and a persistent action bar that lets you easily scroll between records, while always being able to see record title, activity pane, and the record switcher. We hope you like these features. In fact, we hope you like these features so much that you like this video, you subscribe to this channel, and you drop a comment telling us how much you love Airtable. But either way, we'll see you next month.